All right, guys, what is happening? We are in the middle of June. It is hot. It's getting humid. The rigs are putting out a lot of heat, heating up the room. The server room's getting hot, even with the fans blasting. Yeah, and uh, in addition to that, we got low profitability on the GPUs right now with Ethereum mining ETHash. Uh, let's see, block time is dropping, but difficulty and just profits are horrible. And uh, before we get started, let's look at the prices as we always do. Uh, June 16th, 1732 hours. And uh, sorry, I'm not in night mode here. Oh, wow. 20,800 Bitcoin, baby. Used to be at 69,000. Ethereum is even worse. 1105. Yeah, on Ethereum. Wow. Not looking good. But anyway, let's get into the juice. The juice of the video. All right, what are we doing today? Did you know... I've been seeing these ads and people talking about these companies like BitPro. I'm not even average. I'm not with them. I don't get affiliated. I'm not any way involved. I'm just going to make a comment on the BitPro and what I think is happening. They are willing to buy your GPUs. They see uh, doom and gloom, FUD, people wanting to sell their rigs. They're turning their rigs off. I personally have turned my rigs off in the late afternoon until you know, well into like 11 o'clock at night, just to cool the house, the building down and everything. I don't want to be uh, fighting the AC uh, when I don't have to, when the southern sun is baking the south side of the house. I don't need it. I don't need that extra grief. And if I'm not making any profits, why, why be peeing out the money for no purpose? Uh, yeah, it just, it's just what I do, right? I'm trying to get to some certain payouts and I maybe just shut the rigs off for a week or two until the profitability maybe jumps back up or one of the stupid difficulty bomb thing diffuses or whatever these uh, crazy uh, ETH devs are up to. God only knows. Again, watching the Ethereum dev meetings is gold. If you want to know their mindset and the takeaway I get, having done tech, software, some high grade quality stuff in my career, I look at these guys and uh, there's no leadership. There's no real direction. There seems to be dissent amongst the troops. Uh, there's no alpha chad guiding this boat. Uh, you can have a bunch of beta guys out there, uh, you know, introverts. That's okay for maybe getting stuff done. You need a leader. You need a front office man. You need like a Steve Jobs guy out there with a Wozniak behind you doing the work. Uh, these guys don't give me that warm fuzzy. And I'll be honest, once this uh, Ethereum thing, if it goes proof of stake, and the merge happens, it's going to die. I just don't see it. That's my educated, educated guess from being a public school student. Uh, I think Ethereum's going to die. I think it's going to die as a platform. Other apps have had enough of it. They, they said uh, in not so many words like Ape, they barely voted to stay on Ethereum. They just said it's not scalable. The network fees are high. Uh, slow latency st stuff, issues. Uh, proof of stake is a money grab. Always follow the money. They're saying they want to go to... Uh, uh, proof of stake because of the economy, you know, or not the economy. Oh, my God. I got that on my brain because everything's out of control uh, with the economy. Um, the climate, that's just a cover. Most of these guys don't believe that crap. Uh, they're just trying to get the staking so they can make some of that staking rewards and get even more money. Follow the money. Money is the root of all people's actions. Show me the money and I'll show you their motive. Um, yeah, they always say it's for climate crap, but it's not. Come on, get real. Be honest with yourself. And uh, if not, go re, re. All right, let's get into the juice. So if you're panicking, if you have all this GPU equipment you have purchased and it's sitting there, you have not ROI'd, yeah, kind of like me. <laughs> if you're like me, what do you do? Well, you can actually sell your GPUs. You can sell BitPro, your GPUs in bulk. You can get paid for selling your graphics cards in bulk. Fast, secure, fair market offers. Easy, convenient process. Any condition welcomed. Hmm. Okay. I know some of the other tubers out there the, in the interwebs have talked about this and they, they read a nice uh, little write-up that BitPro did on basically the economics of mining after the Ether Ethereum merge. And it is doom and gloom. The numbers look solid, but then like with anything like you see with the government and talking about inflation, they munge the numbers to work in their favor. Like they'll say, uh, 
for inflation, for example, inflation is at 7%. It's actually at 10 or so or 14%, the worst ever, uh, one of the worst administrations in the history of this country. And they're lying about the inflation. And that's kind of what they do with these numbers on their article here. They'll say, oh, my God, mining after Ethereum is going to be horrible. Uh, you're blah, blah, blah. Sell us your GPUs. Why would they do this? My little spidey sense was like, oh, first of all, the numbers make sense. All right. But again, I tell you fools out there to listen do your own research. Don't listen to me. You can take what I say, but go do your own reading. Figure out, piece it all together, and don't just uh, say research is listening to me. It's not. It's just getting an idea like, oh, this dude said this. Well, let me go look and see if that's really true. I'll run my numbers. It's going to take some work. Most people are lazy. You're not going to do the work. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Why do you think these guys give lectures on how they became wealthy? They know that no one in the audience that paid 100 bucks or 200 bucks to go see them for that two hours is going to actually act on anything. They just want to go sit and listen and consume and consume without doing action. You have to do your own research. That's what that means, guys. Uh, yeah. So why are they doing this? Um, makes me wonder. I mean, is there really FUD? Is there really a fear unrest out there? Is there doom and gloom for GPUs? I don't know. I'm starting to see people wanting to buy this stuff, even broken GPUs. And that makes me wonder, hmm, people want this stuff. Interesting. And they're acting on people's fear that they're going to not, you know, not be able to mine anymore or not be profitable. Uh, it makes me wonder that maybe I should hold on to my GPUs. <laughs> maybe they know something that we don't after the, uh, after the uh, merge or the uh, big profit dip right now or the crypto winter, the crypto crash. Uh, again, it's not just a crypto crash, guys. See, uh, equities have crashed. The whole economy has crashed under the current, uh, the, the, the fearless leaders of this uh, country right now, the dear leader. Uh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Anyway, it may be by plan. It may be not be. It depends on what, you, what your perception is on what is happening out there. Uh, let's see. Describe your GPUs. Send us a brief description of your hardware. Okay. Get an offer. We will review and reply back an offer. Typically within one business day, we pick up or you ship. Get cash for your GPUs. We pay immediately upon inspection. All right. Here's why we're the best place to sell bulk graphics cards. As professional GPU miners, we value your GPU mining hardware exclamation point. We buy more than GPUs. If it's used for GPU mining, we will include it in your offer. We buy more than GPUs. If it's used for GPU mining, we will include it in your offer. Oh, okay. We pay, disassemble, pack, and pick up at your location. Interesting. And there's Mark, our CEO, enjoying legendary crypto miner hospitality in a mining farm vineyard after we completed packing their hardware. And look at him smiling. He knows what's going on. He knows he's, gonna, he's making a, an awesome deal right there. Look at him. Why is he smiling with a U-Haul truck and he picked up all your equipment in a vineyard? Interesting. Uh, fair and fast. Fast and fair. Our fast and efficient process helps you get cash in your hand quickly. We offer you a fair competitive price, not based on crypto market volatility. Keep our margin slim by operating smart and lean. We only win when you're happy with your offer. Uh, tech restoration experts, we handle fixing the broken cards. Yeah, cards are a pain in the butt. I got a card that works for a minute and then it just goes toes up. And I know it's got to be an overheat memory or bad something. I went through with the uh, voltmeter trying to find out something was shorted. I couldn't find it. I need an oscilloscope. I don't, maybe it's not getting to the boot chip. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm not, I don't have the right tools. And to invest all of the money and tools to fix one GPU is not, is cost prohibitive. All right, let's go on. Perform extensive testing, benchmarking. All right, perform other refurbishing tasks to get them ready for single sale. So they're going to buy bulk and sell single. Uh, we shoot professional images and create a professional product presentation. All right, we uh, leading online seller. We handle the customers who might not be too keen on purchasing a mining GPU. Nothing wrong with a mining GPU. I don't know why the, the big fear and doom. I'm mean, gaming beats the heck out of GPUs as well. It's all equipment. It's all has its tolerances. I don't know why they put that out there. Filter through the scammers. There are a lot of scammers on eBay. A lot of scammers. You got to watch out for buyers and sellers alike. It's just crazy. But usually I buy your protection. Uh, but as seller, you don't have much of any protection on eBay at all. A lot of scammers out there acting as consumers. You'll ship them a GPU. They'll say they never got it. Or you actually ship them a physical brick. They actually do say that. And then you're stuck. And eBay will side with them as uh, you know they get their uh, free GPU and they laugh all the way to the scam bank. Yeah, it happens. Uh, take the ine inevitable five 
to 10% order returns, even on cards that are working perfectly. Okay. Uh, they say run a full-scale retail logistics operation with maximum cost efficiency so that you don't have to. Hear from our past customers. I hate Better Business Bureau. I had a couple businesses. The Better Business Bureau is an extortion racket. They make you pay a fee to get a rating. You pay a couple hundred bucks, and they're, they're so antiquated. It's like a 1990 uh, rating system. Nobody cares about the BBB. It's an organization. They're, they're just out to take your money in, in a lieu for getting a good rating on their site, which it doesn't even matter. Most people don't even know what the BBB is. Better Business Bureau. It's just a joke. Uh, and they try to try to resolve something through them. It's an, it's another joke. Stay away from the BBB. If you see them with a rating on that, it's all a scam because they're paid to get that rating. Uh, yeah, Google reviews may be okay, but again, people that only get reviews are unhappy people. Good people that are happy don't leave reviews. Uh, should I sell my single graphics card to BitPro? If you have uh, bulk quantities, typically more than five GPU sellers find our servers valuable, have only one or a couple to sell, check out our guide to selling your GPU online. Our goal is to take the work out, save the value of time, pay you a fair price for your bulk graphics cards. There's about them. Uh, start here to sell your cards. You fill this crap out and you will hear back from them. All right. Oh, they're up in New York. BitPro Consulting, 10 Technology Job, Unit 3. Uh, my hunch is they're trying to get a sweet deal on these GPUs. Oh, there's their building. Just a little warehouse. All right. It's a startup. They're a little startup. The guy's doing the hustle. I get it. But uh, he might have bigger uh, crypto miners. The funny thing is he's in New York. That's kind of sketch because those, uh, those installed government of New York is trying to shut down crypto mining. So I wonder at the time, I know they're delaying that vote because they think crypto is going to destroy the uh, climate. And it's just crazy talk up in the, one of those blue run states that want to destroy any small business possible. It's crazy. A lot of businesses are leaving New York as fast as they can. But I see he's there. I just wonder what the motive is if he's trying to grow a mining outfit with a big server building or something like that. I wonder if he's just trying to accumulate uh, GPUs for himself at a decently low, low, low price versus trying to buy them through a vendor and wait in line and use a retail bot. So my hunch is that somebody wants your GPUs. If somebody wants what you have. Even though it's kind of a bear market now in the crypto winter, I would hold on to what you have. Uh, someone wants them, there's value. Unless you're starving and you need to feed your dog, I don't know. Just hold on to what you got. It just This tells me somebody wants my stuff. I know it's a startup, and I, I'm sure he wants to grow his thing. But if Ethereum's going to POS and GPU mining is not going to be profitable, why do you want my cards? No one else is going to buy them. And especially mining ones. People, oh, I'm a gamer. I sit in my basement all day gaming. I want your GPU card. No, I don't want it. I don't want to spend that. You know, it's just all that crap. Uh, I just think, I see from this, it, it, it may be just me, but they want your cards. Therefore, I'm thinking, hmm, I have no problem shutting my rigs off for a couple hours a day or a couple days at a time until profit comes back and rolling the dice because somebody wants my cards. It took me a lot to get those cards. I did have to use retail bots. I had to do whatever I could to get cards. I wasn't reselling or, or scalping. I was just trying to get cards to grow in my rig. And I even when I got those horrible 3080 Ti LHR cards, boom, but in the end, LHR was cracked and unlocked only to now dovetail into the horrible Ethereum bomb delay crypto crash. But anyway, I'm getting good hash rate, <laughs> but not getting not getting much profits right now. So I'm going to hold on to my cards. I see this. This is telling me don't do a knee jerk reaction. Hold on to what you got. Ride it out. And uh, you may be surprised that something big may be coming down for GPUs. I see some other tubers out there. They just keep freaking stacking up Octominers. I went, what the heck? Are you getting them free or are you just dropping thousands of bucks on equipment yet? People are still stacking up their rigs. So something is going on that people know. Uh, bigger outfits, bigger mining farms, commercial ones are buying up smaller ones that can't afford to pay their bills. With this crypto crash, they're selling Bitcoin to buy the uh, other ones that had to dump all their crypto to pay their bills. But now they're going to be consumed by the other outfits, the mining outfits. And uh, yeah, people are still doing it. GPUs are going to be Useful, not just for guys playing Call of Duty, uh, but it's going to be for people who want to do and make money with crypto. There is a strategy here. Guys, look back at 2018. I went through the 2016, 2017 high, 2018, 85% drop in everything. It was horrible. I just, I just turned everything off and walked away and just didn't look at it for a year. And I, you know, I didn't have any mining equipment at the time, but I just bought crypto. And I came back and things shot up. I was like, wow, you know, all right, it does come back. 
you know, if it doesn't, it's an investment. You know, you could lose money in the stocks. You could lose money with real estate. I don't know. I don't know. This is just telling me, hold on your GPUs, ride it out, check profitability, you know, daily or weekly, and uh, watch the heat in your uh, building, the electricity costs, et cetera. You got to do the work. If you're not willing to do the work, then you just go ahead and sell them. This guy will buy them. You probably, you know, not make that much, but you'll get some cash and uh, he'll grow his mining farm. I don't think he's going to resell them. I really don't see it. I think he's just building up a crypto mining farm. So he might know something. I know. There he's a little van up in New York and uh, he's going to grow his thing until New York uh, installed government. Hutchell, whatever name is, installed governor throws him out because he's hurting the climate somehow. All right. That's all I got. That's all I got. That is all I have. I just saw this and I thought it was interesting that they are increasing their advertising and pushing out email, uh, email uh, ads to people and says, hey, sell us your hardware. So that, that's probably what's going on. This is just telling me, hmm, somebody wants something I have. Therefore, it must be worth something or maybe worth more down the road. I'm going to hold on to what I got because even these guys had old uh, RX cards. They were still able to mine them. You know, they're years old cars in 2013, 2014. They were mineable uh, uh, GPUs. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold them. I'm going to hold my crypto. I'm going to hold my cards. I may shut them down now and then because, I, you know, it's just getting hot. I, I hate, I don't have, I have nice air handling, but again, it still gets hot. And I don't, I'm just sick of the heat sometimes. But uh, at the cost I'm getting now, the profit, it's just worth turning them off for like six hours a day or so and then firing them back up at night. Anyway, check it out. If you use BitProf, Pro, Pro, Pro it. What's it called? BitPro. Oh my God, I thought it was BitProfit. If you use BitPro, let me know. Post it below. Let people know if it's good or bad. Or if you made money off it. And it may be useful for some people. And if you do want to sell it by yourself, watch out for eBay. They charge you 14%. Plus you may get a scammer buyer who will rip you off and say you never shipped it. And you're the seller. So you're going to get boned by eBay because they don't care about sellers. Uh, StockX may be a better thing. But again, fees, 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 fees. These guys are in business to take your money through fees. Uh, you could sell personally or locally, which is always a risk. If you do meet at a local police station uh, in the lobby, the cops don't care. They want it, you know, you want you to be safe because you may get some shady characters and uh, you don't need to deal with that crap. It's sometimes the juice isn't worth the squeeze and, you know, getting messed up isn't worth it either. Um, yeah. All right. Interesting stuff. Babbling on. Another crypto thing, not much else to talk about. I'm not buying anything. I'm just mining what I can when it makes sense. Watching the block size, the block times, reading about Ethereum and watching their uh, crazy dev meetings and just shaking my head going, oh, dear God, I would not buy a used car from these people, you know. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look good for Ethereum, even if they go proof of stake. Yeah, I'm just mining everything to Bitcoin now, even my CPUs. I will mine the most profitable algorithm. And it's slow going on the CPUs, but it's chug, chug, chug. It's pennies, guys. It's, it's nothing life-changing at all. It's pennies on the dollars, but it's kind of a hobby and just to see the accumulation of Bitcoin. And I'll get my little payout to my little wallet. And uh, also, get off the exchanges. Look at what happened to Celsius, the lending platform. They froze withdrawals. I think they said Binance kind of froze some stuff as well. BlockFi has, no, Coinbase has stopped hiring and they rescinded offers. They overhired. So there's this thing going on with these exchanges and these platforms that make me nervous. And if you don't know the keys, you don't know the crypto. I was a big proponent of BlockFi and Voyager, and I was making hundreds of dollars a month in interest. I pulled my stuff off when I saw the Celsius. I saw the Luna thing, and I said, oh, my God, I don't want to be, a, I don't want to be one of these suckers that loses my crypto and just goes, damn it. Uh, safe than sorry, protect your assets. Put them in a hard wallet or a desktop wallet, whatever. You know, your keys. Make sure you have your keys backed up, saved in a safe, a P.O. box or somewhere secure so you can get out of it. If you lose your system or something like that, you lose your computer or your phone, you can always get your crypto back. Uh, all right, that's it. Just another crypto rant. Another crypto rant. Welcome to the bear. It's, it's awesome, though. It's kind of cool being in the bear market and the crypto winter and fear and watch people freak out the FUD. You kind of then say just you pull back and smart people kind of pull back and get a you know, breathe in the air, get a, get a feel of what's actually going on. Watch a bunch of tubers out there. You know, some guys are still building crap, getting freebies from all these companies. Uh, some others are selling. Some are just turning stuff off. Some are building sheds and putting more money out there. I'm like, wow. Whew. Okay. I get it's a hobby, but I'm in it to make money. Uh, yeah. 
that's where I'm at. But right now I'm trying to be smart about it because I know in the past I've always been an early adopter and then I would just lose interest in punt and move on to something else and I would regret it a couple years later. This time I'm sticking to it. I'm holding my crypto. I'm holding my hardware and I'm going to be smart about it and I'm making any knee-jerk reactions this time because I look at last time if I would have held or kept doing stuff 2018 onward, I would have done really, 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 really well. <laughs> I'm going to be making YouTube videos for free that YouTube is making money off me because they put crappy ads, and I'm sorry about that. They're putting crappy ads in front of my videos. Uh, I don't do that. They do it. Uh, use Brave Browser. They won't uh, play the ads if you use Brave. It's awesome. And then you also get paid in basic attention token. Every time an ad pops up, you can say, yeah, I'll watch that. And you just click and go back to what you're doing. You get a couple pennies in uh, basic attention token crypto. It adds up to 20 bucks a month sometimes. So 20 bucks is 20 bucks. That ain't cheap right? All right, guys, I'm out. I'm babbling on. <sighs> Go forth, do great things. Take care. Blammo.